Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to open up a 2018 Topps Update Blaster Box. Inside, there's 10 packs with 10 cards per pack, plus that annoying commemorative patch card. But that's okay, because this is one of the best products you can pick up from the last couple of years in terms of possibly getting a big pull out of here. Now, some of you are familiar with this set. We've opened it a couple times on the channel. We're going to be looking for three big rookie cards out of this box. Number one is Ronald Acuna Jr. Number two is Juan Soto. And number three is Glaber Torres. But there is a host of other great rookies that we can pull out of here, like Shoyo Tani, Austin Meadows, Shane Bieber, uh, Willie Adames, Michael Soroka. So let's get this started and see if we can find any of those. Now, the big thing I'm looking out for today, in addition to finding a few of those rookie cards, is maybe finding some sort of variation of those. Maybe like a gold card or a rainbow foil uh, parallel would be very, very nice. Um, I hope we can do it. Let's see if we have any luck today on this. Um, I don't know what to call this video, I guess. Try Hard Tuesday? I don't know. All right, so you can see Shoya Tani's on the front. He was all the rage back in 2018, coming over from Japan and being a two-way player, pitcher and hitter. Uh, of course, he would have to undergo Tommy John surgery and miss most of last year, uh, at least pitching-wise. But he'll be back on the mound this year sometime in May, and he will be doing his thing at the plate as well. So there's all of our packs. You can see there's 10 packs, and also this super annoying Jackie Robinson commemorative patch. I'm just going to do this to get out of the way. Um, not really worth anything ever. You can see it's a Paul Goldschmidt. Now, I say it all the time. I love the 2020 Topps boxes from Series 1 because they have those rookie medallion cards in there. I think those are pretty awesome. All right, so that's done. Now it's time to go on a rookie card hunt. 10 packs. I'm hoping we can find at least a few of these rookie cards. I would love to find two out of the three big rookies, Acuna, Soto, and Glaber Torres. So one of these boxes you can pick up for about 60 bucks now on eBay. Um, so it has tripled in value from what it originally went for in stores. These boxes originally were $20 and now they are 60 and I think they will continue to rise in value. Uh, there's a Shohei Otani rookie card there. It's a Game Changers insert card. Not too much value to that one. I'd probably put that card maybe a buck or two. There's a postseason performance card, Justin Verlander. Of course, that's from the 2017 postseason, which has been marred by the Astros cheating scandal. And there's the whistleblower himself, Mike Fires. Without Mike Fires putting his name on those allegations, we wouldn't know about uh, the Astros and their cheating ways of 2017. So first pack... Uh, we got a Shoei Otani rookie card. So we found one rookie. It's not the rookie. Uh, the Shoei Otani rookie card, card number one of the set. We'd like to find that one as well. I think Otani's going to rebound and have a nice season. Hopefully his cards rebound as well in terms of value. All right, pack number two. We start off with Leonis Martin. And then we have Garrett Cole with the Astros. All-star game card there. Garrett Cole, of course, will be on... The Yankees for the next, what, eight years, I think it is. There's Jesse Biddle rookie card. We've got another rookie coming up. It is Yanni Chirinos, he, who's still a great player. Lots of good rookies in the set. Luis Severino, who's going to be out for the year with Tommy John surgery. Sorry to break the news if you didn't hear that one yet. There's Craig Kimbrell, now the Cubs. A Scott Kingery rookie card, legends in the making. There's also Shoya Otani and Ronald Acuna Jr. in this little subset here, kind of cool. Carlos Santana, then we have a... Gerson Bautista, by the way, speaking of Bautistas, Jose Bautista is trying to make a comeback into the major leagues as a pitcher. So he's going to be playing in the, I guess, a Dominican League tournament, and he's going to try to remake himself as a two-way player, a pitcher, and hitter. Of course, Jose Bautista, Joey Batch, you last saw, last saw him in the major leagues in 2018 when he hit, hit like 203. Um, definitely looked washed up. Didn't play at all last year, but supposedly Jose Bautista can now throw his can throw a fastball 94 miles an hour, and he's got a pretty wicked slider. So we'll see if he catches on in the bullpen somewhere this coming year at some point. There's Derek Rodriguez, son of Yvonne Rodriguez, Joe Musgrove from the Buccos. Jerickson Profile, we've got a rookie card. It's a rookie debut, which are usually worth about half of what the regular cards are worth. And it's just a Scott Kingery, nothing to get too excited about there. There's Hannes Wagner, don't blink card. We've got a postseason uh, preeminence. 
Mariana Rivera. Kind of tough to read that font there. And then we've got some landscape cards, which uh, Marcus Walden rookie card, Ariel Gerardo, nothing really great right there. Unfortunately, uh, landscape cards tells us that maybe we have a Topps update rookie debut card, but not one of the main ones we're after. So next up, we've got Daniel Winkler leading things off. Austin Meadows rookie debut card. I like that one a lot. I'm going to put that in my good pile. Austin Meadows is one of my favorite players. If I had to rank my top, oh, I don't know, my top 20 favorite players in baseball, Austin Meadows would be on that list somewhere. Uh, former Bucko, and I think he's going to be great and have a nice career. All-star last year. There's Freddie Freeman, John Carlos Stanton only played in about, I don't know, 18 games last year total. There's Danny Farquhar, who's now retired. Of course, he had a brain aneurysm in the dugout and almost lost his life. So I'm glad that he was able to recover from that. Um, and um, good luck to Danny Farquhar on his post-retirement plans. There's Michael Soroka, rookie debut card. That's a nice one. And Sean Doolittle falling over there off the mound. So we have six packs left, including this one. I would really love to find a Topps gold card of one of these rookies. That's what I'm after. I did pick up a case of these long ago. I have a couple left. Not too many of these blasters left. Just a couple. So I figured I'd open one up tonight. There's Christian Yelich, your runner-up to the MVP award. We've got a Michael Soroka rookie card there. Rookies, um, just says rookies, 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 rookies subset there. And then we have postseason preeminence again. Hideki Matsui, nicknamed Godzilla. Then we've got James Paxton throwing a no-no. He's, of course, going to be on the DL to start the season with a shoulder strain. Then there's Jose Barrios screaming as he delivers the pitch. I like Jose Barrios a lot. And Thunder and Lightning, Joey Votto and Billy Hamilton is the last card there. So five packs left. Halfway through the box, still no big rookie card hit yet. The biggest thing we had so far was a rookie debut, Austin Meadows. Let's see if we can get you what you tuned in for. Check out the Ronald Acuna or Juan Soto. There is a Xander Bogarts Legends in the Making card. A whole bunch of these postseason preeminence cards. Derek Jeter, your newest member of the Hall of Fame class. Wander Suero, rookie card. Max Stassi. Freddie Peralta, rookie card. These landscape cards, kind of tough to show sometimes. And Redbeard, Colin Moran. Four packs left. So, value-wise... Might as well talk about these and why I'm after them. The Ronald Acuna Jr., ungraded, just in raw condition out of the pack, is going for about $40 on eBay or so just for that one card. The Juan Soto, raw. There's Jordan Hicks, rookie card. That's a nice one. He's going for $20 to $25. And the Glaber Torres is like $7 to $10. There's a Shotani three home run streak card, three game home run streak card. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., I like that one a lot. He's part of the rebuilding Blue Jays up there, one of the core four with Vladdy Jr., Kevin Biggio, of course, Bo Bichette, and this guy, Lord Escurial Jr. I think he's going to be good. I'm going to put this in the good pile. Uh, I think that card may increase in value over the next coming couple years. Carlos Gomez and David Hess is our last one. Three packs left. Now, PSA-wise, if you can pull a card right out of a pack and get a PSA 10, which you know should not be terribly hard to do since these cards are relatively brand new. Uh, a PSA 10 Ronald Acuna Jr. is going for about $175 at the moment on eBay. Juan Soto, $100 for PSA 10. And Glaber Torres, about $75. There's Willie Adame's rookie debut card. I like that one a lot. I think Adame's is going to be a good one. We've got a rainbow foil coming up. Hopefully it's one of the good ones. It is Wilson Contreras, who, of course, is an all-star. But there's Ronald Acuna Jr., international affair. Unfortunately, that doesn't qualify as a rookie card. At least we got an Acuna. Um, that might go for a buck or two. Glaber Torres. There we go. 1983 Topps Design. Rookie card. Very nice. I'm happy about this one right here. Glaber Torres, of course, one of the top three rookies in this set. I'd put him at number three. And uh, I'm going to have to check out what this card goes for. 1983 Design. Uh, if you'd like to save me some trouble, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think it goes for. You could look it up for me. Uh, his base rookie card, ungraded, 7 to 10 bucks. So I would hope that might go for just a little bit more, as I feel like that might be just a little bit harder to pull. But I guess I'll have to look it up and see. So we've got two packs left. Trying hard for a good rookie card. Let's see if we can find it. Jesus Aguilar, 
There's Lou Trevino rookie card, Tyler O'Neill rookie card. Lots of rookies whenever you get to Topps Update. Postseason preeminence, Jackie Robinson, David Bodie rookie card. And we have another Glaber. So it's Glaber Day here on the channel. Glaber Torres rookie debut. You can see he appeared on April 22nd of 2018. There he is coming out of the dugout for the first time at Yankee Stadium. That's a nice looking card right there. I would assume this card probably sells for 3 to $4 maybe. Nick Kingham and Corey Kluber now of the Rangers. I'm going to put the Glaber Torres rookie debut in the good pile. And we're down to our last pack. Last chance to find Ronald Cooney Jr. Juan Soto. Let's see if we can do it. If uh, we can't, then I guess I'm going to have to open up another one of these box at some point that I have. I've got a couple left. Maybe throw one into a face-off Friday. There's Alex Bregman looking all happy. Steven Piscotti making a nice little catch there on the warning track there. And then we have a Charlie Culberson gold card. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the brave gold card that I'm after. You can see it's numbered out of 2018. 623 out of 2018. Still kind of cool. Lance McCullers getting down to the end here. Is there going to be a Cunha or Soto? Jose Barrios. And there's Matt Moore. And we do not find them in this video. Max Muncy and Sung Wan Oh is the last card there. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you back as we will likely consider or continue this search for Acuna and Soto um, in the weeks and months to come. These are my favorite two cards that I pulled today, the two Glaber Torres rookie cards. Um, and I guess the Austin Meadows and Lourdes Gurriel were nice as well. Unfortunately, that box was not worth $60, um, but it was still fun to go through. Uh, we'll try it again soon on the channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the search for Acuna and Soto rookies. And I hope you have a great Tuesday and a great rest of your week. Tomorrow is release day, March 4th. 2020 Don Russ comes out. I will be posting a break on the channel. I'll be putting that up for sale on my Patreon page tonight. I will be breaking that sometime tomorrow in the late afternoon. At least a case or two of that. So look for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you all tomorrow.